So the Medicare Advantage value-based insurance design demonstration launches in January 1 of 2017. Health plans in Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Indiana will the first time have the option to lower cost sharing for specific services for specific providers for specific populations in specified chronic conditions. So we're very excited for the first time to have diabetic patients to have enhanced access to things like eye exams. For patients with major depression disorder to have enhanced access to behavioral therapy. And for patients with post-stroke and heart disease to have access to those specials and those drugs that will be able to manage their conditions. We were also extraordinarily pleased to see that CMMI, based on the response to the first application process for the demo, expanded the demonstration to three additional states, Mississippi, Michigan, and Texas, and also added two new conditions, rheumatoid arthritis and dementia, to those conditions that were already included the first time around. So we've also heard from additional states not included in the demonstration that they want to be involved, and we hope to see an additional round of applications for new states. In addition to the support of value-based insurance design from the Obama administration, VBIT is one of those very, very, very rare healthcare reform ideas with bipartisan political support. One great example of the bipartisan support is the inclusion of value-based insurance design in the Medicare program in the better way forward, which is the Republican House healthcare reform document, which has been led by Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. It's extraordinarily unusual, as you know, in these contentious times in healthcare policy to see an idea with support both from a Democratic executive administration as well as the House of Representatives majority party, that being the Republicans.